what motivates you to be consistent i can see it. <laughs> i am the self motivator for myself as i told you that i am a kind of person who always feel motivated and sometimes even if i am feeling demotivated i don't lose my patience if you will keep thinking about the other person okay i will start speaking english what he will think about me you may not be able to speak english ever do not mind but that's the reality so hi karishma how are you hello hello anand i am doing great and hello everyone the people who are watching me and uh, first of all i would like to say thank you for inviting me here on your channel it's it's really great uh, it's my pleasure karishma first introduce yourself okay so as you know that my name is karishma chauhan i hail from delhi and i have completed my all education there i have i've been graduated from uh, uh, commerce background and uh, after that i pursued llb so presently i am an advocate now if i talk about my personal life i am a married woman i have two children and i'm also a youtuber as you have already mentioned that so i am uh, posting conversational videos on my channel which are helpful for other learners too yeah that's all about me okay great great yeah i have see, i have watched your channel and i have gone through few of the videos i can see you are doing fantastic work how did you start your channel what came in your mind to start the youtube channel because you have 32k followers which is not you know a small number it is a big number okay so the channel to be honest i when i saw first youtube video when i came to know about this youtube and when i started watching youtube videos i have this thing in my mind okay one day i will also start my channel so i tried i started one of my channel and where i used to post law related content it was not worked for me then i started my vlogging channel it was also not worked for me and the third thing which is english which is like passion my passion since my childhood so i thought of okay let's learn english and then i'll start my channel so but the learning process was too long i thought okay if i will start learning language it will take one year and then after i will start my channel it's not a great idea so i thought of okay let's start a channel speak english speak broken english maybe the people or the viewers who are watching my video they will correct me and this is how i will improve uh, gradually or eventually i will improve i thought of this and this is how i started my channel so you can watch my previous videos i was not really good with that i used to make uh, grammatical errors i was speaking broken english but people instead of uh, poking me they help me they guide me they corrected me everywhere i am going wrong so this is how i have learned english honestly speaking people also helped me a lot to achieve this particular goal and youtube helped me to improve my fluency my grammar and now i'm able to speak english i can say that yeah wow great what an idea like if you want to improve then let's immerse into something right like you thought like i'm not going to first improve i'm going to start the journey and uh, in this through this journey i'm going to improve yeah it's reality now sometimes people think and lots of uh, i'm sure lots of viewer watching this video they would they would also relate with this situation they think you know they would speak good english then they will start something or they will start speaking but it's not going to happen first you need to start from beginning then only you you are going to achieve any milestone so yeah i i really love this idea first you have started speaking even a broken english and then you improve throughout the journey my next question is that lots of viewers they feel under confident they sometimes feel like they want to speak english but they speak one sentence two sentences or three sentences after that they suddenly feel you know their english is not good they don't have that vocabulary which is needed they don't have the right sentence structure how to overcome these situations okay honestly speaking confidence is the key of success in each field it is not only about you want to learn english if you want to build your career in any of the field first you need to be confident first of all you have to clear an interview an interviewer what he check you also see like the person is person have confidence or not 90% confidence and 10% other things what i feel is how you can build your confidence sometimes it's natural it's inbuilt what i feel is that in my case it is inbuilt since my uh, 18 or when i was 18 or 20 years old i was so bold i was blunt so i have never like fear of something i don't feel like what other person is going to think 
I never thought in that way. So first of all, you have to guide your mind and you can only do it. No one else can guide your mind. It's your mind. You have to put these important uh, information to your subconscious mind that, okay, whatever the condition is, I have to stood, I have to face everything. I have to be confident in each and every situation. If you will keep thinking about the other person, okay, I will start speaking English. What he will think about me? You may not be able to speak English ever do not mind but that's the reality so first of all remove the fear fear which is in your mind subconscious mind just try to guide it try to be bold try to be ready to face the criticism also sometimes it helps you to grow people thought what he will say i will feel bad but you know what when you feel bad now then only you take next step which can change your life drastically I'm here to motivate people also. I upload few motivational video on my channel, people liking it. But you know what? You can be the real motivator in your case. No one can motivate you forever. I can motivate you only for a few minutes. You will feel energetic. You will start doing something. But it is only you who has to be consistent throughout your journey. Until you are consistent, until you are disciplined, you are not going to achieve your target. So what I feel is that confidence, you have to build up, you have to guide your mind. And for that, you can do one thing, simple thing. You can just keep a realistic goal in front of you. Until you have a goal, you are not going to push yourself, right? So for example, if I have to, uh, for example, I am um, a kind of a person who want to be fit always. So I always keep this goal. Okay, if I'll become slim, I'll go there. Like I'll go on a trip or something so that I look good. I'll click some pictures and that's that's kind of a motivation for me. So I start uh, working on my diet. I'll, I'll be able to control my mind in that condition. So once you will keep some kind of goal in front of you, 100%, you are going to put your hard work. So that is the only thing you can do it. Yeah. Wow, great. Yeah, really nice idea. Like, yeah, uh, you need to have goal in your mind without having goal. You cannot go into the right direction. Uh, you are very consistent on your channel. What motivates you to be consistent? I can see it. <laughs> I am the self-motivator for myself. As I told you that I'm a kind of person who always feel motivated. And sometimes even if I'm feeling demotivated, I don't lose my patience. People, what they do, they lose some patience. Oh, why it's not happening? Let's stop this. Let's don't do it. I always react positively. Why it is not happening? I should do something new. And you know what? Whenever you do something new, 100% that thing will work for you. Let's take an example of this YouTube. If nothing is working in your favor, you're not getting views. You're just posting good number of videos. Do something new, which you have never done on your channel. Anything. You can start posting a story. Mm -hmm. You can start uh, uh, doing any other uh, extra thing, like different thing. 100% your viewers get attention and they will start watching you. Once they will start watching you, YouTube also start recommending your videos to other people. So this is only one criteria I'm talking about, but the same applicable for other fields too. If you're working and uh, nothing is going well, there's a lot of politics in your office. In the corporate sector, this is what happened. So what you can do, you can just take a break. You can just go for somewhere. You can uh, plan a two or two three days trip 100% your mind will feel refreshed and ultimately you have to motivate yourself no one can motivate you forever and this is what I do I always have this positive mindset which motivates me to do something so positive mindset is really important most of the people they are very negative they even start saying negative things before they start something new so don't do that always be positive if your dreams are not high how you are going to achieve them so the same applicable i keep yeah. motivated myself always yeah you truly said sometimes we just think negative about ourselves but we are good to do the work we are good enough but we always underestimate ourselves so yes. first and foremost this confidence or you know thinking positively with, uh, about yourself yeah that's what we do lots of learners i have seen you know they come for a few months they try hard within just a month and after that they give up how can they keep up how can they start again because i know there are so many people you know they try to speak english for one month two months three months mm -hmm. that they start, but after two or three months they left they thought they cannot do it so what is the reason and how can they overcome this Difficulty. Okay. So what I feel is that this is for not uh, the learners, but I'm talking, I'm saying this for the tutors. Tutors also start motivating their people, their students, like so that uh, students should not give up because it's a long process. In a month, you cannot think of learning something. What they do, they have this mindset, okay, within a month, I'll start at least basic English, but it's not possible. When a child learn their mother tongue, it took two years. It takes two years minimum to speak or open up their mouth. 
how can you think of learning a language just within a month or two it's not possible first of all you have to remove this thought from your mind the people the beginners i'm talking about the people who are thinking that they can learn in a month and if they don't learn they just quit so we cannot do something for that but yes tutors can motivate them at the same time when they're guiding them they can tell them okay have some patience you have to be patient for at least three months within three months you will start seeing result you know what happened when you start listening english content it takes minimum two months to understand that things properly and then you will be able to uh, speak automatically it is very natural when you are listening regularly for one hour for 60 days on after two months you will be able to speak something if you will try but you should not give up you should be consistent and again you have to keep a goal in front of you until you have a goal you are not feeling interested for example i i want to give you practical example when i've started my channel one student who came to me and he asked me that ma'am please give me tuition i have to clear an interview and i he was requesting me a lot so i just agreed okay i'll practice with you he practiced only few days and then he said okay ma'am i don't think it's working i cannot do it and all and he just quit i really do not understand the mindset of these people because if you really want to focus on something you should give time it's not a short process that you can learn it just within a two days and four days it's a language my child he's uh, one and a half years old he cannot speak any single word he's only saying ma like he's learning my mother tongue from one and a half years now he's able to speak only ma word how can you think of learning everything in just one month so just change your mindset keep uh, working hard come out of your comfort zone and set a goal then only you will be able to fulfill your dream yeah you rightly said you have to be persistent you you have to always keep a strive towards you know, your goal you know people make short term goals and that's yes. what them disappointed they need to mm -hmm. realistic goal for example i have been on youtube for four years now it has been four years and i have been in the corporate career i mean in profession yes. uh, for seven or eight years now uh, and uh, i have seen that improvement come after working, right? Working. So day by day, little by little, you will improve and then you will get result. When you think, you know, you are going to get result within few days, few months, few weeks, and definitely you are going to disappoint yourself. So you truly yes. said, yeah. Yes. So very nice talking with you, Karisma. Yeah, it, it was really a pleasure to meet you and uh, being on my channel. So hope to see you again in future. Yeah, sure. If you will get time, I would love to connect with you in future as well. And thank you so much for inviting me here on your channel. Thank you so much. It was lovely conversation with you. Thank you. Thank you very much.